Good morning. Just wanted to talk a little bit about spaces, about architecture, about interior design, but not in a um, not in a technical way, in a philosophical way. Are these still wet? God, these smell awful. I'm uh, going to wear different shoes today. Uh, what I am focusing on right now is how your home fosters your minds. And specifically rooms. I mean, I think how the home feels as a whole is very, very important. Um, I mean, for so many obvious reasons and unobvious reasons, but, um, but focusing on the room, I think is interesting today. Because, um, Our minds are oof, they're hard to tame. It's hard to tame the our attention. It's hard to know where to put our attention. How many times have you set an intention? You know, I'm gonna do this gonna do this but then you just simply forget and then it's like weeks later and you're like, yeah i was gonna do that i just never started and and it might just be because you completely forgot there's a lot of really important things in our life that we just don't remind ourselves and you have this great idea and then you assume that you'll tend to it later but if that is the first time you've had that idea in that specific way, that means you've gone most of your life not having that idea. So what's going to happen tomorrow? You're probably going to not have that idea again. Um, so if you have something that you want to act on and it's fresh or it's important to you and it's not already a habit, you have to give yourself reminders. Um, so one example of that is like, um, for me right now, leaving my yoga mat out, I usually roll it up and put it under my bed because that makes my room look nice. It makes my floor look nice, but I kept forgetting to do my morning meditations and workouts and yoga and stuff. So like lately for the last week, I, I've been leaving it out and that's a reminder in the morning I wake up and and um, it's just duh it's there I almost I'd almost have to ignore it on purpose I'd have to not work out on purpose because the reminder is right there um, I can put it away for special occasions but like does it need to always be away does my room does my floor need to always look clear no it doesn't have to just like if I'm having company over or something, or if I want a different mood, then I can put it away. But in general, it's there's nothing wrong with default having my yoga mat out. That's like, that's an example of like practical reminders um, for habits. Um, it's a very embodied thing. It's a useful thing. Um, but there's also like, Mm, ways you can remind yourself to feel a certain way. Um, for example, having plants, having a lot of plants in a room reminds you that things want to grow, that it's natural to grow. There, there's, I mean, there's so many symbolic reminders that a plant is. <laughs> Right. Um, so like plants are a good reminder of life, especially when you're inside. If you're inside a lot, you're not outside a lot. Having indoor plants will remind you that there's an outside. 
remind you that you're a part of an organic earth, not just like the, the box that you're in, the walls that you're in. Um, for my music studio, I've worked really hard on making all my tools as accessible as possible. Like it should take me one or two steps to, to, to get anything out that I want to. Minimal setup, it's practical, but that's practical, but feeling wise, I'll actually show you um, some things that I've added to my studio that I really like. Um, well, the first thing wasn't added, it was just already here. As a chandelier and it's it's pretty and it's in the center of the room and um, I like it. It's a reminder to be centered. But um, I have these soft curtains, these soft pink curtains, and they I think just remind they're a reminder to be gentle and they're open. Which is a reminder that I'm a part of a bigger world. Um, I have artwork that is important to me. And that is something that um, reminds me of a certain moment in my life <clears throat> when um, I heard um, a, just like in my mind a message that I really needed to hear is a very connected moment in my life that that reminds me of. Um, and uh, just so like, and even the things that I've put in my studio, they're all a certain kind of aesthetic um, this I just got yesterday it's a room divider and it reminds me because there was a big archway door and um, it was hard for me kind of to keep my attention in this one room the, the divider helps me like stay present here and to like shut out the rest of the world so the window has like openness but in a certain way, it's different than a big door frame. A divider says, hey, like when you're crossing into this room, it is a different room. It is for a purpose. <clears throat> so bring your attention in. I don't know. Um, and, and a lot of these things are reminders that maybe I haven't even thought about or put into words. It's not so legible yet. But like <clears throat> if they make me feel a certain way, that's good. Everything that's in your room in your workspace or in your bedroom, ask yourself, what is that reminding you of? Because we are so, 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 so forgetful that really the only things, <laughs> I'm being a little extreme, but the only things you're gonna remember in this life are the things that are surrounding you on a daily basis. If there's something you believe in a lot today, find something to put in your space that would remind you every day about that thing. It's very, very, very simple, but very, very effective. These things add up. You're gonna wake up every day and see the same things. What are those things telling you? What are the, how, how are those contributing to your functionality in life, but also how are those things contributing to your mindset and the way you feel. That's my message for this morning. <laughs>